Okay, this video shows how to make a connection of IC okay, for your digital lab. Alright, so first, looking at the IDL, you have several comp uh, sections that you need to know. First of all, these here are your output LEDs. So these LEDs are being used to display your output. There are several other uh, components that you can use to display your output. One of them is the seven segment display, which we will learn later. But this shows the number that you want to be displayed as your output. So to connect to your output from your output of your chip, what you're going to do is that you can plug into any of these holes here. So you have eight LEDs here, meaning that you have a total of eight bits of output. Next, you have your input switches here. So these are all your input switches. This can be used to simulate your input, whether you want it to be a logic zero or you want it to be a logic one. So here you are going to connect your wire from here to your IC. Then the output will go to your LED here. So this is how you are going to connect your output. Then for all your ICs, you need to power up your ICs. So in every IC that you use, you will have a terminal for VCC and a terminal for your ground. Your VCC will utilize your 5 volt source here. This will be your VCC and any of the ground ports that I'm showing here will be your 0 volt or your ground. Okay, this is how you make a connection on your IDL. So, for this each chip, right, you need to identify what are the pins. You can go to www.alldatasheet.com and get the pin assignment of every chip that you are using. The numbering of the chip is shown on the top. Here, it is being etched onto the IC. So, for example, 74LS00, 74LS04. So, these are the corresponding number of the chip and also determines what kind of chip that you are using. Either it's a NOT gate or OR gate, AND gate and so forth. Right. So, like I mentioned just now, <coughs> all chips need to be powered up. So, here, what I'm doing is that from 5 volt that from my 5 volt which is actually at the bottom here instead of connecting it directly here I connect it on the top row here so when I connect to the top row here this whole line here indicated with the red line is already 5 volt so instead of tapping directly from 5 volt to every single chip and making this part very messy you can use this line here on your protoboard and make the connection from here. So as you can see, this is already my 5 volt. So this line here, until here is my 5 volt. I can use a wire to tap it from here to my VCC here. And if I need to make another connection somewhere here, I need to use a wire to function as a jumper so that now this part here at the bottom row here is also 5 volt. Now, this kind of connection will be wrong. The reason why is because this whole row here is connected. Therefore, here and here should not be, these two chips should not have a be connected together. So what you should do is that you need to either remove this, move it downwards here, or move it skip one groove here and connect it here so that the left side and right side here corresponds to the second IC and the first and second column here corresponds to the first IC. So as I mentioned just now, this is the way of how you want to make a connection of a second or other chips that won't make it connect to the one here. Either you do it down here or you do it from here. Okay, now 
to manually test the chip right so what do you see here from the first uh, from previously I've already connected to my VCC pin 7 here is my ground from the pin assignment which goes to this part here the black part here and from here I'm connected to the ground port on your IDL and these two blue wires here are connected to the inputs which then is connected to switch 1 and switch 2 here okay so just for information I'm now testing the logic of an OR gate okay so we are testing the logic OR for this gate and then the output here indicated by the green wire is connected to my the first LED here so as you can see I'm using different colors for different sections of my connection this is a good practice in case you need to do troubleshooting so that you know that the red one here corresponds to your power your black wire corresponds to your ground your blue is your input the green is your output you may choose any color as you want but just the, a good practice is to stick to a specific color for a specific section of your connection here we are only testing one gate on one chip so the wire won't be that difficult for you to distinguish but once you have a multiple combinational logic for example a three level or even a four level then you will see that the number of wires would be very very messy okay therefore by doing that at least you have it's it's much e easier for you to do troubleshooting now again as with always let like practice when you do your connection make sure that your IDL is turned off now my connection is already done I can just turn on my IDL please ignore this LED here because I'm not connected here there's something wrong with this LED so because now our output here is connected to my first LED therefore my two switches now are in the position of zero so for logic for all logic it should be zero when both inputs are zero and it will be logic one when either one or both of them are one so what do we do is that for zero zero the LED is off for zero one the LED is on and then for one zero again the LED is on and finally for one one the LED is turned on this is how you test the logic of your chip manually of course there are four gates here therefore if let's say the first gate is faulty you can always choose you can always use the other three gates that are available here for an all logic you have four gates in one chip so you can use here I'm using one and two and three pin one pin two is my input pin three is my output if I want to use the second one it should be pin four pin five and pin six and so forth set pin eight nine ten or pin eleven twelve thirteen you can see it better when you look at your data sheet so for different gates you have different pin assignment for example the not gate has six gate in one chip but for because since uh, because the not gate is a only a one input gate it's only one input and one output but for or and and XOR logic and others you have two inputs and one output 